The Israeli military has launched another series of raids across the occupied West Bank. Violence broke out overnight as armoured vehicles and bulldozers were used to storm the Balata refugee camp east of Nablus. There were also raids in Hebron and Yatta where Israeli troops searched homes and patrolled streets. Well, for more on this, let's speak to Laura Khan, who is in Ramallah for us now. And um, Laura, we understand a journalist was amongst those arrested. Do you have any details about exactly what happened? Well, Tom, absolutely. A woman called Rula Hassanin. She's a mother of a nine-month-old baby, and she's well known in the occupied West Bank for writing about the Israeli occupation and also some human rights issues. Now, the Israelis entered her home in Bethlehem at around 2.30 a.m. Uh, they didn't realize she had a baby at the time, so she had to decide whether to take her baby with her, considering she's nursing her, or whether to leave her behind with her husband, which, of course, is a big shock. But I just want to give you some of the stats around Palestinian journalists being arrested since October the 7th. There's been a huge uptick, around 45 Palestinian journalists behind Israeli bars at the moment, more than 60 um, arrested since October the 7th. And if we compare that to last year, from January the 1st to October the 6th, there were only eight. So with me, I have the deputy head of the Palestinian Journalist Syndicate. His name is Omar Nezer. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, so I just want to know, first of all, why are they being put behind bars? Why is Israel taking them away? Thank you for having me. I believe that the main objective behind the tension and this intense campaign carried out by the Israeli occupation forces, as of today, 62 journalists have been arrested. This is uh, manifold the number com before October 7. The main objective is to d d deter journalists and to steer them away from carrying the voices of the Palestinians. Uh, the Israelis are uh, adamant to continue to maintain their narrative and to m muzzle any other voices. Another uh, objective is the deterrence strategy adopted by the Israeli occupation forces is to intimidate other journalists, not only the uh, journalists detained, but also to intimidate any other journalist by way of creating uh, the image that anyone who tries to speak will be their next target. This is the strategy and policies adopted by the Israeli occupation forces. All of this falls within the media genocide against the Palestinian journalists. How dangerous is it for Palestinian journalists in the occupied West Bank, about, especially when it comes to violence and arrests, and also Palestinian journalists in Gaza? There is no doubt that journalists are reeling under massive danger. First of all, the Israelis are trying to muzzle any Palestinian voice. Uh, they are also targeting the families of journalists. What is more dire is the conditions in which the journalists are operating. Uh, many of them are now behind Israeli bars. We are speaking um, as a man, a journalist, who, was, who lost his eye as the bullet is still resting in his skull. He is intentionally battered on his head, despite the fact that he is uh, detained behind Israeli bars. This is what we managed to hear about. Many other journalists are uh, reeling under torture like uh, Haytham Abdul Wahid and Nidal Wahidi and others. As he says, of course, it's not only increasingly more dangerous for them in the occupied West Bank, more deadly for them in Gaza, but also incredibly worrying conditions inside Israeli prisons. Okay, thanks so much for all of that. That's Laura Khan for us there in Ramallah.